Uncharted 4 A Thief's End is the fourth and final installment of the Uncharted franchise. Did this game give Nathan Drake a proper send off? Or was this one adventure he shouldn't have ventured into? Let me break it down. Nathan Drake has retired from adventuring and is now married to Elena Fisher and they are both living a normal life. That is until Samuel Drake, Nathan's long presumed dead older brother, shows up and convinces Nate to set out to find a treasure they sought after ever since they were kids. The pirate fortune of Henry Avery. Unfortunately, an old partner of theirs, Rafe, is also searching for it alongside Nadine and her mercenary group Shoreline. So now the race is on to find the lost treasure and claim its riches. As expected, the adventure is still grand in scale and it's great to have the gang back together for one final journey. As they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Though the gameplay has been refined a bit. You still climb gigantic environments, but you get to use a rope with a grappling hook and it makes for some dynamic exploration. You still get engaged in cover base shooting, though there are segments that give you the stealth option if you can accomplish it. There are still great puzzles to solve and you get to find those sweet, sweet hidden treasures. Overall, the action sequences are heart pumping as ever, gunfights are still hectic, and it all felt like playing a live action movie. Speaking of which, the game has definitely set the bar on what the PS4 is capable of. From the ruins of Panama, the rocky cliffs of Scotland, and even Madagascar, Look at that beautiful red rock and sandy landscape! It's so beautiful! And once again, it's great to hear the voice chats of Nolan North as Nathan Drake, and Troy Bigger as Sam Drake is a welcome addition. But what am I saying? They brought a stellar cast, and hearing everyone banter always puts a smile on my face. Okay, remind me what we were talking about? Uh, yeah, so, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago. Oh shit, how are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. My only complaint is that this game doesn't use its main theme song that it is well known for, though they kind of make a rendition of it for the credits. All in all, Naughty Dog has done it again and delivered a wonderful game, but is this the best of the franchise? Eh, I say Uncharted 2 wins by a slight margin, but that doesn't mean this is the worst. Far from it, A Thief's End is truly the grand finale to a spectacular series, and it ended on a high note. Also, you get to play Crash Bandicoot as an easter egg, that's a big win too! So to sum up, get this game. If you don't have a PS4, get one now. Yep, I'm calling it. This game alone warrants you to get a PS4. I know there's a multiplayer to talk about, but... It's inconsequential to me. I played for the adventure, not the multiplayer.